Welcome to another video of Health Facts with Dr. Danish. In these series of videos, we are collecting data from the highly respected database such as NIH and PubMed and my own case report uh, and give you the summary. The subject of these series of videos are hair and skin health, dermatology and aesthetics. Facial wrinkles are divided to two big categories. Uh, the first one is dynamic wrinkles and the second one is static so dynamic wrinkles are the ones that is uh, developing from repeated facial movements uh, like the frown line when we use the uh, frown uh, multiple times in a day uh, we ended up having an 11 signs on our forehead and the static one are the ones that results from volume loss and uh, loss of elasticity and also the gravity now what are some of the wrinkles on our face so forehead lines are the ones that run horizontally across the top of the t-zone and uh, the worry line or frown line are the ones that create an 11 between the brows as uh, you can see here uh, crow's feet are the ones that is uh, at the uh, lateral part of the uh, eyes. Uh, these crow's feet radiate from the outer corners of the eyes. Uh, there is bunny line uh, that is uh, the edge, uh, the bridge of the nose. Um, you can see the horizontal line that's called the um, bunny line. Laugh line or nasolabial fold are created a parenthesis around the upper lip. Upper lip line, uh, as you can see, there are vertical lines here uh, that we could see in people who are parking or uh, whistling a lot uh, or in patients with smoking cigarette. Um, also, we have marionette lines uh, framed the chin vertically, uh, just like this, uh, as you can see here. Now, the mechanism of each wrinkle are, uh, is different, but most of these wrinkles that we discussed uh, are uh, caused by two different static and dynamic. The mechanism of each wrinkle is different, but most of these wrinkles that we talked about uh, are a combination of static and dynamic uh, mechanism. So for example, these uh, wrinkles, these horizontal wrinkles on the forehead and the wrinkles on the uh, frown line uh, that we talked about are most likely uh, created by dynamic uh, mechanism. Crow's feet is found mostly because of the static uh, mechanism, which is volume loss or loss of elasticity. Uh, and uh, also uh, the nasolabial fold that we talked about are most likely because of the volume loss and loss of elasticity. The mechanism of upper lip vertical line is dynamic uh, except for some people who are uh, smoking cigarette that could be caused by volume loss or um, the loss of elasticity uh, and as we are uh, going down we're talking about the um, the mirrored lines as well so this is as a result of uh, droopy muscles and droopy skin from the upper uh, area and that's why we're going to have some jowls as well uh, and that's the reason that we see these kind of lines here plus it has some volume loss as well so uh, droopy muscle in this area and volume loss could uh, be a cause of the myriad lines when you're frowning for a long time you're squeezing uh, muscles here corrugators here and here and then process muscle in the middle and it creates the creases in the forehead area and as you do it uh, over and over uh, it, it lasts for a long long time and uh, we call that skin tear wrinkles uh, and you can't get rid of uh, skin tear wrinkles with Botox or fillers or uh, PRP or microneedling or any kind of uh, uh, procedures, aesthetic procedures, even non-fractional radio frequency or non-fractional laser. So how we can avoid these kind of wrinkles on our face? 
by protecting and repairing our skin, by making healthy lifestyle choices, and uh, by choosing products that is uh, according to our skin condition and adjusting decreases causing habits. As for the lines in the upper lip area, when you're squeezing the perioral muscle, it could actually create the vertical lines in the upper lip area. And also the same uh, could happen around eyes, uh, creating the uh, crow's feet. Uh, so the best course of action in these, uh, in these situations is to just avoid the bad habits and uh, change the uh, lifestyle toward the best lifestyle. Eating lots of antioxidants such as berries and uh, smoothies, including berries and vegetables and cruciferous vegetables. Also, the uh, exercise could actually help us to uh, prevent from having these kind of creases. Choosing proper creams, uh, including retinol and salicylic acid could help as well. And try not to squeeze your face into your pillow and reduce the squinting or furrowing your brow. We could choose proper sunscreen to protect our skin against the oxidative stress that is causing from the UVB, the ultraviolet B, uh, which is coming through the ozone layer uh, with the big hole that it is uh, inside the ozone layer. And also we could actually take vitamin C up to two grams per day to build up the collagen in our skin and also in our vasculature in our uh, skin. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope to see you in my next videos.